So the Lyra event for 2023 is now live. We can get our hands on some new fancy cosmetic rewards. In this video, let's cover everything from how you can best get all the currency you will need to obtain all the different rewards and ultimately showcase them. So first of all, you can head over to the Disciple of Lyra and Protector's Enclave and pick up a daily quest from her, Lyra's Celebration. This quest is not very important to pick up as you have a much better way of obtaining all that favor. You will need that favor in her store. New this year, we have the Starry Carpet of Revels. And then we can also obtain from previous years, the Starry Sphere, the Cosmic Pig, and the Celestial Bear. They're all mounts, but all cosmetic mounts. The Starry Carpet, sadly, has only three insignia slots. So again, you'll just use it for cosmetics. And then you can get vanity pets here, the starry version of the carpet as well. There will be a rider sitting on top of him. I'll showcase him just when we get all the currency we need. The companion, the joy dancer, Nice if you need a little bit of bolster. It is also an augment companion that's going to give outgoing healing, incoming healing, and control resistance. Not great. There are definitely better options. However, reinvigorate, pretty good power for healers if you need the extra outgoing healing. Whenever you heal people, you have a chance to increase your outgoing healing by 7.5%. Now the bells, like the bell of empowerment, increases your companion's damage by 20% for 30 seconds with a two minute cooldown. And the celerity bell has the same benefit, but 20% recharge speed instead. If you're going for either of these, I would go with the damage buff bell as the celerity bell doesn't seem to really work on most companions. So take the damage one and you could use it instead of your forger's box, chain of scales, or your spider totem in that third potion slot or even instead of your dragonfire or hawk if you don't have that now additionally she has a consumable tab you can buy some emotes here nothing too fancy some food barbecued meat which doesn't really work to heal you but it will remove some harmful effects if the debuff can be cleansed some dye here and then importantly these fireworks you will need to pick up some of these before we head out to get fireworks and then fashion new this year we have the nebula fashion there the wedding stuff it's similar to wedding fashion we already have in game it's just got a cosmic effect and then there is a bunch of other fashion here you can get as well like this mask or this hat and then a full set of pirate cosmic fashion there with then the starry fashion here which would go with the starry hat and then you could get the hat to go with your armor if you wanted to so how do you obtain all the favor needed to actually buy these rewards well the first thing you will want to do is go and find somebody in the zone i recommend just going to zone chat here and just typing out something like plus firework share now i'm on the previous server here so i'll find some people just by asking them now if you are starting out without any of those fireworks you will need to get some favor these lira fireworks are the ones you want i can only buy one right here in order for me to actually get some extra favor i will have to get some professional fireworks what you can do is you can gather them in protector's enclave right here again we're only doing this to start things off once we get enough of these we won't have to do this anymore and also collecting these fireworks will uh, complete your quest lira celebration it's your just daily quest you can do to get 30 favor and you go to the stage here and you place your fireworks placing the five fireworks completes the quest and that'll give us the 30 favor. Now that's not what you're gonna be doing to obtain your bulk amount of favor because that's only a daily quest. Got some favor now, it can get us started. We can buy like three of these and then we can go to our friend. I can give them the fireworks. Of course, ideally I have my own to share with him. Every time your friend uses them, you can see you gain these Lyra Knight fireworks buff. Right now I have two, then I have four, and now I have five. And I believe five is the maximum you can obtain using some more fireworks, but you can't go beyond five. And they last you 10 minutes. Now what you need to do with that then is go and kill enemies. 
Just go to any old zone, ideally one that's easy for you. And when you kill those enemies, they have a chance to drop these fireworks, these professional fireworks. And you can see we just obtained six from one drop. One drop of killing the enemies gave us six of those fireworks. It's about one in 10 chance that you actually get them to drop, but the amount you drop is dependent on this buff. If you have none, none of these buffs, these firework buffs, you'll only ever get one every time it drops for you. Here again, we got six more. So you'll just go around and you'll use up that 10 minutes and once that 10 minutes is over you go and you get the buff again from again your friends or some just random people in protectors enclave so that is a very easy way you're just gonna farm many and many of these fireworks so our buff has ran out that's 10 minutes of farming and we got 140 fireworks now without that buff you can see when you do drop fireworks you're only obtaining one. So you really wanna be doing this with that times five buff from other players. Again, you just wanna share fireworks next to each other. It has to be those Lyra fireworks. Then you head back, head back to Protector's Enclave with all your firework bounties, and you go back here to the altar. And you can place 100 fireworks for 20 favor. 10 for two, it's all equal. Now, I have a whole stockpile and we can use all of these ones. Now you can also see when you donate them, you will obtain Lyra fireworks as well. Then you don't have to go buy them anymore. That will allow you just to get started there and then be able to have all of these fireworks. Again, save them and don't just use them at any old place. Now you wanna use them next to people. So like this guy, for example, I could go use the firework here and he'll gain the Lyra buff. You can see it there, that red icon next to his fire. Use it again and he gets a second buff, the third, and that's exactly how you give people the buff and you'll want to them to give you the buff as well. So we'll just donate all this here, all these fireworks. Can of course sell these as well as these professional fireworks are unbound. We check the auction house here and we can see that people are selling like 500 of them for like 680,000 Astro Diamonds. Maybe we try our luck at selling it for 555,000 Astro Diamonds. Maybe somebody will buy it. Again, just be aware of the costs of them. They'll probably go down during this event, especially after my video and people see how you can actually effectively get them pretty easily. There will always be people though that will just buy them just to skip the grind and just to get the rewards directly. So we just donated a bunch there. Just be aware that every time I'm donating now, I'm not actually getting any of the favor. That is because there is a cap. You can only have 300 Lira favor at a time. So if you get over that, you're just wasting it like I did a bunch there without noticing. Remember again to keep these Lira fireworks. You can also sell them as well. And now we can go and buy our rewards. So we can buy the new starry carpet and the starry carpet rider vanity pet. It's going to go in your vanity pet section just here. You can put that in summoned and it'll summon it automatically. And then we also have the fashion here, the wedding fashion, which we can buy. We just need to donate a few more fireworks to get the last piece. There we go. Again, just be really aware of the cap and your fashion will go in the bottom section just here. You will have to right click it and convert it to your appearance library. And then you can go to your appearance tab, fashion tab, and you can change that to our new fashion and see what that looks like. We have that all equipped just here. We're gonna clear the color here so it's uh, all base. Saving that, there we go. We have the full set. We are now a cosmic starry bride. Oh, and you look at that. The fireworks actually sold for 500,000 astral diamonds. That's not bad at all. 450,000 astral diamonds for 500 fireworks. You can easily get 500 within an hour. So back to uh, the cosmetics. For the mount itself, we'll go and uh, equip that and then go to our mounts tab, go to appearance, and we can equip the starry carpet of rebels. So mounting up on that, you can see it's like this. Yeah, <laughs> what's it doing with my dress? 
I'm going to switch over to my uh, basic gear fashion. And yeah, that, that works a bit better. I guess the dress is a little bit bugged. So uh, yeah, it's just a carpet. You have the same spacebar animation like this, basically the jump animation, a twirl around. And the vanity pet is an eensy tweensy little rider just here, also on their carpet. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. And that's the Lyra event for you. You can, of course, again, just go around Protector's Enclave and pick up the professional fireworks from these baskets here. You can't do so if you already have more than five in your inventory. And you might want to save them for next year if you don't want to do the grinding. But we can dump them all here again to get more favor, to buy more rewards. Now, you can get a bunch of this stuff and save it and sell it because it's unbound. You can buy the carpet the sphere, the pig, the bear, put them on some storage alt and sell them in half year and they'll be a lot more expensive. Same with the bells. You can take these and uh, save them and sell them. They'll only bind if you actually equip them. Same with the companion. It's all unbound stuff here. So you can definitely make a pretty penny out of it. So that's the Lyra event for you for 2023 just some new items added there you can again check the event description and it has a new tag next to the new stuff here and this guide should ultimately help you on how you can really get those fireworks it's about cooperating with other players sharing the buff and then going farming enemies a massive thank you to all these channel members for their added support and we'll see you guys around goodbye for now